Hey guys, BNSF9370. Gonna do a layout update. Uh, yeah, I haven't done one in a long time, so lots been done. I apologize for not getting back to some of your comments. I do read them, I just don't get a chance to reply. But I want to show you what I've gotten done within the past two weeks. I've came down here and I've hit it real hard. It's uh, starting to cool down quite a bit here in Indiana. So nothing better to do than just come downstairs, build a fire, and uh, work on the layout. So let's get started. I've gotten all of my track that I've laid, just about all of it is ballast. Now it looks pretty shiny right here because I just glued this section down. But as you go around the corner here, you know, you got the two, you're gonna have two mains here, and you're on the end of one of the arrival departures, the yard lead, all wraps around this corner. Kind of just stopped it right here on these two lines, or three lines here, the two mains and the yard lead and the service engine line for the yard locomotive. I went ahead and ballast all the way into the shed there. Uh, the caboose storage line right here. And then I went ahead and did the part I was dreading the most was the yard body just because I know it's just a bunch of straight track, seven tracks wide, just extremely boring. So you got the yard lead comes down through here. I skipped this area right here because I'm going to go ahead and extend this road across. And I went ahead and did all of this. Within the last two days, I started probably right in line here with my tower and did all of that. That took about almost two containers of ballast right there. So total in this entire yard I've used almost seven bottles or containers of the medium woodland scenics ballast. And that's uh, the gray blend. If you're interested in seeing what that is, that's, this is what that is, the gray blend. A lot of light, light gray and dark gray stone in there. Actually it's not real stone, it's walnut. Uh, I believe that they crushed in to make this stuff, but anyway, uh, I got all the ties put in. A uh, YouTuber told me about that. I went ahead, did a video on, you know, hey, screwed up, fixed it. This is the result. Like, uh, you can kind of see these two ties are new. Uh, I think these two ties are new. It's kind of hard to tell. They're a little different color, but I like that look. Just kind of looks like they've been replaced. So, I'm really happy with how it's come out so far. I still gotta go back and clean some of this extra ballast up before I glue it down. I'm gonna have to repaint the road where I uh, put tape on the road to keep the the paint from the ties getting on it. When I went back and painted it, it kind of peeled the asphalt top coat off. So I'll just have to redo that. And down on this end, kind of go down here, see what this looks like. Haven't quite finished. These radiuses, like I said, most of the yard, probably 95% of it's done. I wouldn't necessarily consider these two mains right here part of the yard at this point. But I have a little technique I wanted to share with you guys that I've used in my ties here. This is the Atlas track. So you'll end up with black ties and you want to replace these underneath the rail joiners. So what I did is I took a piece of sandpaper and hooked it into a clipboard. Took another clipboard, went underneath it and clipped the other side, so now that paper is flat. This is a 180 grit sandpaper. Now I've got a 3M block, sanding block, and without taking these spike details off the top of these, these ties here, I press down on this, and you know, I'm holding the camera so it's gonna be hard to do. If you press down, and you can just run this like this for about 10 seconds, you pull this off, this is the, the dust that it makes here, then file these rail no, spike details off. I actually just use an X-Acto knife and just cut them off. And then I've been putting them on this piece of wood here, shooting them with a little bit of brown paint by uh, Floquil. It's really hard to find this stuff now. If you guys have some and you wanna get rid of it, let me know. Uh, it's rail brown Floquil. And then I just go stick it by the fire for about 10, 15 minutes and it comes out and then there, so it's ready to go ahead and cut them up into pieces and stick them where you need to go. But this is what I've gotten done so far. Nothing real good yet, just a bunch of ballasting 
and I'm getting ready to put in my signal bridges. So we're going to start getting into the electrical part of it, which I think I'm really going to enjoy kind of doing the controls for the electrical uh, bridge signals, stuff like that. I'm going to start putting switch motors in. I'm going to make a control station in this area right here. I'm going to have a piece of wood that's going to be stained. It's going to have LEDs and, and switches on it and a map of the yard and everything. So it's going to be a no-brainer. Actually, the controller wouldn't even have to see the yard in person to know what to do because everything will be on that board. So that part I'm really going to enjoy. I also got a couple locomotives on order. Uh, one of them's actually paid for. I just got to pick it up. It's the Atherton Genesis ES44 AC BNSF paint scheme H3. It'll look a lot like the DC version, but uh, the DC was the Intermountain. So I'll be interested to see how they run together. And I'm also ordered a GP38-2 BNSF without the sound and a GP50 BNSF with sound. Those probably won't be here till I wouldn't expect them anytime soon, probably June of next year sometime. But yeah, I just want to give you guys an update of what I've done so far. We're going to start getting into the fun stuff. I really would like you guys to give me a uh, some ideas and maybe what you guys think how I could maybe improve what I've done so far I promise I'm gonna get better at getting back with all your comments and questions it's just been really tough lately I'm actually getting ready to start a night shift here in December but that'll be really hard to work on the layout for about two weeks so that two weeks is probably not gonna get a whole lot done down here so if you would just uh, leave me a comment questions. I'll get back with you as soon as possible. And until next time.